TJ, thank you for the super chat. Have you seen the new AC Shadows Parkour? Thoughts? Ooh, I've seen it, and I do have some thoughts. Buckle up, buckaroo, here we go. They tweeted out today, actually, 10 a.m., this little video, and it is basically just a little bitty highlight reel, 35 seconds long, showing some footage of Nawe using her new parkour systems. I'll just let it play, and then we'll talk about it, okay? Can I loop it? Can I? No, I can't. Okay. But this is what we're seeing. We can see new animations have been added. There are some new things that she's doing that we'll kind of go through individually here in a couple seconds once this runs out. But knee jerk reactions are that parts of it look really smooth. I think the front flips look really good. But there is sort of a, a stop and sto uh, stop and go pace to it that. I'm sure it feels fine in the hand because looking at gameplay versus controlling it is always fundamentally different. Um, something can look really smooth on screen in a, a captured clip and then in your hand, it just feels chaotic or it feels like you're not even doing anything yourself. Um, and then on the flip side, something can look, you know, really, really um, like stuttery or stop and go, but then in the hand, it feels better. So. We don't know until we get our hands on it, but that's the initial impression. What I do notice immediately is new animations. The backflip thing is cool. The drop animations, this little flip jump, that's new. But then this is one of those leap animations from AC Valhalla, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I wanna respect the actual title of the game. So we have to be, we have to be fair. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It is now canonically the right way to pronounce it. So things like that, this leap also looks straight from Valhalla. And then you see she has this like grapple hook that she throws out very quickly that latches onto this. It looks like they've just fully turned off the UI, which is normal for these types of captures. Uh, but it does seem like it can be launched very very quickly and it does seem very smooth as well which i can appreciate the other thing that stood out to me in these first couple shots is actually something that i i was hoping to see which is that they've brought over some of the weather tech from avatar it seems i know they're running in different systems and everything like obviously they're two totally totally different games and the tech is is different i believe they're running on totally separate engines but i I could be mistaken about that, but I believe it's, I forget the name of the, the acronym or whatever that they use for these as create engine. I think it's Anvil maybe, is that right? Anvil, that sounds right to me. Anyway, they've brought over a lot of the weather tech that they've used over there. And all that really means is that all of the trees and bushes and stuff blow in the same direction as the wind. It's, it's a small touch and it's tough to tell with this bit rate being so god awful low for real Elon. The one thing you got to work on, bro. I know you got other stuff going on, but like for real, the bit rate on X video is woof buzz your girlfriend. It's just not the best. And I don't know why they didn't post this footage elsewhere, but I can't find it on YouTube in a better quality. So anyway, the the trees, all the foliage is moving and seems very alive, which is refreshing because if you go back to a game like Valhalla, it was all very static and didn't really shift much. But we see that. Other than that, we also notice a lot of haze particle effects and sort of this, uh, I don't know if it's just fog or if there's like a storm blowing through, which is leading to the visibility being lower, farther away from the camera out here. But it does seem like they have some really nice gradations of lighting and distance and level of detail in the distance seems nice. But again, it's really low bit rate, so it's kind of hard to tell. Beyond that, what's the bit rate on X videos? It's gotta be single digits, I don't even know. Um, beyond that, you can see jumping down here. What I mean by the start and stop, just in case, because I saw somebody in chat mention that, what I mean by that is like, this is nice. She runs at full speed to the edge and leaps and does the flip without slowing down. When she lands, there is a bit of a slowdown as she picks up her speed again and then does the thing here. But you notice here, there's a, a like animation shift where it slows down again. And then we get the little jump, which is the Valhalla leap or at least a slightly reworked version of the Valhalla leap. So, there's just a melding of a bunch of different little animations. Some of them new, like that flip is brand new and looks pretty good. And then like these little hops and stuff that are from Valhalla that 
blend together into something that I think looks pretty good, but also where there's a couple of moments where you're like, that looked like a 250 pound Viking woman was making that move, not a 95 pound Japanese assassin, you know, where the, the movements are just a little bit different in how they actually leap over things like that. That looks like something you do if you have, if you had like a big ax on your back, not if you were tiny and able to just quickly boop right down, you know? So there's just a couple of little things that stand out where you can tell that it's the melding of a couple of different things. And to be clear, I don't think that they should necessarily have to recapture everything. I don't think that's reasonable. Or even if this is all hand keyed and everything like that, it still just feels like it has remnants of Valhalla or sorry. Assassins Creed Valhalla. Still present. So as I've said many times before, like with this type of thing, it's perception is reality. If the perception is that it's, you know, still got some Valhalla DNA in it, that's what you have to deal with. Even if it is all brand new from scratch, you either have to demonstrate to everybody's satisfaction that it is brand new and maybe they're just seeing things or you have to rework it uh, to the point where it doesn't look quite so so familiar. I think some people have been overly harsh on it. I don't think the gameplay looks looks bad or anything but it also as i alluded to in the segment right before this it doesn't really represent the big leap forward that i was hoping for i was hoping after all this time after four years basically since the last major release that we would see basically unity level um finesse added back to this and it looks like reworked valhalla which isn't bad but it's just not the leap I was hoping for. It looks like a step in the right direction because Valhalla was like five steps back. But uh, again, I'm just biased. I don't really like Valhalla, as you can tell. But it just doesn't represent the big leap forward that I and I think a lot of other people were also hoping for. It doesn't mean it won't be fun. Doesn't mean that it it won't feel good to control. But I, I do think that's the broader sentiment that people are expressing. But even still, like that also brings to mind another point which is just that we can point at little bitty things, you know, we're, we're getting 35 seconds of gameplay here. And then we're trying to form opinions on the parkour system from that. This is a tiny, tiny sliver of what the game actually has and will present to players. So it's not really doable to form a full opinion, but if we're just giving our gut checks and our gut reactions to what we're seeing, I think it looks like, again, a step or two forward um, from Valhalla but I was really hoping that for this point in the generation, um, especially coming off of the amazing work done back in like 2014 with Unity and how fluid that system was, I was hoping that we'd be much closer to that than just a couple of steps above Valhalla, which like, again, it's an improvement, but eh. <laughs> You know, it's it's just not quite what I was what I was hoping for. Oh, did Joraptor get a higher bit rate? It does look like Joraptor got a higher bit rate clip. Hold on. Hold on. Joraptor. The man, the myth, the legend. Let's see. Thank you for this. Thank you for the link. Is it Zion? Zion, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, it's Jor. I should have known Jor would have it. Let's see. It's a little, honestly, this might just be a straight download from, from X. It looks to be about the same. I can't even, I can't even tell. I, I think, I think it's just taken from X. Cause I'm looking at some of this and like the foliage is the, about the same quality. So I don't know. Yeah. I think it's just taken. I think it's just taken from X. Ah, bummer. Bummer. Off to ask him if he has like a raw clip. Yeah. This is taken from X. Anyway, it's, I think they should be releasing higher quality footage, but even this footage, a lot of the post-processing effects, the motion blur, the gradated lighting, the fog and haze, that all looks really good. So I do think that this is a big step up from what we saw back even in June, which is promising because it does show that they're making steps to actually improving the game as we approach launch. But if like, if Ubisoft has learned anything from the outlaws stuff, be precise with what footage you use like be precise okay because that 10 minute clip that you gave ign for star wars looked pretty poopy and i don't know if that's because it was running on a series s i don't know if that's because it was an in development build that had stuff turned off i don't know but what i do know is that it didn't look very good and i think with this stuff if you're going to release these clips release high bitrate clips release footage that looks the best it possibly can 
So you remove any possible discussion of quality, like it just remove that from the equation. Don't let people question it. Be like, regardless of what you think of Yasuke or this or that, at least the game is beautiful. Just get to that point. But and then again, maybe this is part of the strategy release only, you know, footage through X where the bit rate is so low. It looks like somebody smeared Vaseline or like a Krispy Kreme donut over your screen. And uh, that way it's like, no, it doesn't look bad. It's just low bit rate because of X. It's Elon's fault. It's not our fault. <laughs> Maybe that's the, maybe that's the, uh, the strategy. Not a bad idea, honestly, <laughs> not a bad idea, but all that say, we're going to keep an eye on it. We're going to keep an eye on it. Like the whole thing right now with shadows is that I think it looks fine. I'm honestly more intrigued by outlaws than I am for shadows, but that's also to be expected. They haven't really marketed shadows hardly at all. So as we get closer to launch for shadows, I'm sure we're going to see a lot more and I'll keep an eye on it when that happens. As for other things like, you know, preview events and things like that, I, I don't know if they're going to be doing those, especially after this, this stuff um, with people upset about the way they handled the Star Wars events, but who knows? Who knows how that'll be, but you better believe they're going to try to figure out how to handle it. I don't know if they're going to do preview events. I don't know if they're going to do like remote play sessions. The big thing is like with big games like this that leak a lot, a lot of these big companies, the reason they hold in-person events is sometimes, be, or at least in the past, I've seen it with some studios, is because they're worried about leaks. So when they do remote capture events or like streamed events, sometimes the odds of footage leaking go up a lot because a YouTuber will play it and then just like take a picture on their phone or something. So they do in-person events to try and fight that. A lot of these companies though, like Ubisoft and Star Wars Outlaws, they did both. So like clearly it was not for security reasons because they still did the remote play sessions and the in-person stuff. So that doesn't really hold up. But I don't know if they're going to approach it the same way with Star Wars or with uh, AC Shadows. I don't know if they're more worried about leaks there. We'll see. But I think the footage looks fine. But like I said, it looks like a few steps forward from where they were with Valhalla. But to me, that's frustrating because I feel like Valhalla was like five steps backwards. So I feel like we're basically where we should have been after maybe Odyssey or like Origins. But even those were steps back in terms of parkour quality. So maybe you say like we're, we're maybe a step forward from where we were, were with Syndicate, but still a few steps back from Unity which they've alluded to previously. They said that it wasn't going to be AC Unity levels, but but still. It's looking better, though. That's the big thing, is it's looking better than it did in June, which is it's good to see. He took my thing.